Now, before we do dive in, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and click on that notifications bell icon to get notified every time I upload a video. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a bunch of things on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus or the S10 that so far nobody has probably shown you. So let's dive in and get started right away. The very first thing I wanna talk about is the actual themes that come with the new Samsung Galaxy S10s. So you're looking at one of the themes right now, and if I do go into the settings uh, over here, as you can see, the theme actually applies to these settings cards all around the device. So if I scroll down, you do have this uh, white background setting over here, but then you have the theme that has been applied to the back of these buttons over here. So what you wanna do if you want to access the themes, and I do wanna show you all the available themes that come stock with the smartphone, is if you press and hold on the screen, and if you go into the actual theme store, what you want to do is you wanna type on view all by swiping this down, that's gonna be my themes, you tap on view all, and you get a bunch of themes right here, such as the high contrast, the green, the white, which is what I'm using right now. And then you have options like pink, blue, and yellow. So let me just show you what the different themes are. Let's just tap on yellow for a second. It's gonna ask me to download that theme, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that really quickly. So let's do that right now. And then once I apply this, it's gonna take a few seconds to apply. It's a very fast smartphone, and there we have it. So if I go back out now, you'll see that we have the yellow theme. Uh, with the yellow themes, you're also not getting uh, the wallpapers that do have a black shade on the top here. So the punch hole cutout, the camera hole is fully visible. And as you can see, it's not a big problem. Now, if I go to the settings over here, again, as you can see, the notifications panels has turned uh, yellow. And if I go into the settings, you'll see that now the background is yellow and we have white uh, on the actual button settings, all right? So all themes behave a little bit differently, giving you all these nice and beautiful options. Now, I got the ceramic white version of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus here. So, so to go with that theme, what I do is I go to the uh, themes over here again. Oops, my bad. Let me go back into the themes right over here. Uh, click on view all, oops, go down, tap on view all, and I was using the white theme over here, uh, which is this one, as you can see. Now let me go back really quickly, I'm going to show you one more thing here. Uh, let's just try out the pink theme here, so let's click apply as well. Just want to give you guys a couple of different perspectives here, especially for those of you who do not have the phone in your hands just yet, uh, or, or either want to get one, or you are waiting to receive it in the mail, or pick it up from the store. So that's the pink theme right there, if I go to the settings again, uh, you'll see we have a pink background and then we have the white uh, uh, background on the actual buttons. So that's pretty nice and cool. If I go inside, you get the same thing uh, looking at you. And of course, we have the Samsung One UI on the S10 Plus here. So when you pull this down, everything does come towards you so you can access them with one hand. All right. So that's the one thing I want to show you. Let me just put it back on the ceramic white uh, theme over here. That's the one I enjoy. All right. So that's the way I like it. Now, the other thing that you have, of course, is you have a bunch of wallpapers. So if I press and hold over here, and if I go into the actual wallpapers, uh, again, you got the My Wallpapers here. You tap on View All, and then from here, you have all these different wallpapers. Uh, one wallpaper option here is known as the default multi-pack option. So this actually, if you pick this one up, it is going to rotate between a bunch of different wallpapers. So you, you might get this one, 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 or you might get this one, okay? It's a multi-wallpaper pack, so it's gonna switch every single time you, you go to your lock screen, as you can see on the top here, or you can pick some of these wallpapers right here. Uh, these are the Galaxy Picks, so if I click download, it's going to uh, be randomized based on the Galaxy Picks. Let's see what it's gonna look like. So let's uh, go back here, I'm not gonna apply it right now, but this is the multi-pack for the actual home screen, uh, lock screen wallpaper. So again, these are Galaxy Picks and they're absolutely uh, gorgeous over here and you have so many options. Again, every time you turn off your phone and unlock it, it's gonna randomize to one of these wallpapers if you pick this multi-pack option here. Not to mention, you can always go back into the theme store and download even more multi-pack wallpapers as you desire. And a couple other things that people haven't really gone into in detail is the night mode. So if I go into the settings over here, and if I go to display, 
I can now enable the night mode. Uh, if you do enable the night mode in a specific theme, you are going to have some differences. So the regular night mode with the regular theme is not going to give you these pink uh, uh, colors over here. Okay. As a matter of fact, let me just show you so you can see everything. So if I go into the themes and if I go back over here, I'm just going to go to the default really quickly. So let's click apply. We're going to the default theme and we are, all the, and we are also at the night mode. So when I go to the settings now and if I go into the display, these are just going to be regular blue icons. But if I'm back into the themes and if I pick one of these themes that I like, such as the white one, uh, let's do that really quickly. Now when I go back into the actual uh, uh, display, for example, you will see that the colors at the back are in fact different. Okay, And then even when I pull this down, the colors are in fact different. That's just fantastic. Now, let's just disable the night mode. Actually, just enable it for a minute. Uh, if you go into the phone, okay, again, different colors over here uh, as opposed to the main theme. This would be normally just white, but because I'm running the uh, white theme, it is giving me a pink background everywhere, okay? Now, if I go to the messages, same situation, pink, pink, black background. If I go into the actual uh, calculator or the... Um, calendar, you're going to see that pink background. So by using themes and the dark mode, you can create a combination of dark various themes. So where's the calendar? It's right there. Again, let me just to be very clear, go back in here uh, really quickly. Uh, let's just pick the regular standard theme or let's just pick the green theme. Okay, just for the hell of it. Let's download that and click apply one more time. Now I'm going to show you what the dark mode looks like when you have the green theme applied. Okay, again, this is why you want to subscribe to Saki Tech because nobody goes into these details like I do. So if I go to the phone right now, the background color is green. Okay, if I go to the messages, green, green. All right, if I go into the settings, uh, even the background here, the buttons are green. And then if we go into the uh, any of these options here, display, for example, green, green, as opposed to pink and blue that we had earlier. So you can create all these various combinations. Let me go back over here, disable the night mode. By the way, this is the green theme over here. Uh, if you like it, I'm not a big fan of this. I'll probably go with the regular white theme. So that's that. The other thing I wanna show you guys has to do with the fingerprint sensor. So if I go to the fingerprint settings over here, uh, if I scroll down uh, right here, biometrics and security, and if I go into the actual fingerprints, uh, let's just put the password in right now. That is a simple password. Uh, as you can see, I have my left index finger, this one, and my left thumb registered. And if I want to add a new fingerprint, I go to the add a fingerprint right over here and I can scan that finger, no problem. Uh, it's going to give you instructions on the top half of the screen. Now, if I go back here, you do have the option to check the added fingerprints. So unless you name them like I do, which if you want to do that, you can tap on this one and just change the name. So I can just do left. Uh, that's the way you change the name of the registered fingerprints. But if you do have finger one, finger two, you can tap on this one, tap over here. It'll tell you which one is which, and then you can rename it properly. You have a couple options here, the fingerprint unlock. That's unlock your phone with fingerprints. Of course, you want to enable that if you want to use this option. And you want to show the icon uh, when the screen is actually off. So let me go over here into my edge panels really quickly. All right. And from my edge panels, I just want to enable the soft key edge option, which is this one right here, which is, by the way, something you can download from the uh, Galaxy Store over here. Just go to Galaxy Store and download soft key edge function. That allows me to basically, uh, if I go back in here, uh, use the screen to lock the phone. OK, so the phone is locked. You're going to see nothing. If you tap on it one time, you're going to see the always on display and you'll see the fingerprint sensor. You just tap on it, boom, locks right in. Now, if I go back over here and lock the screen again, uh, if I double tap the screen, it's going to go to the lock screen. And from here again, you see the icon at the bottom. You press, you go right inside. It's very fast and very quick. But again, if I go over here, go to fingerprints, put in my password really quickly. That's the option you want to enable if you want to see the icon uh, when you lock the screen uh, at the bottom here. Now, even right now, I can actually put my finger fingerprint here and it's going to unlock the phone. OK, so that's one option you have an, as well. But uh, you do have this option. One tap, show the always on display. One more tap, uh, double tap, show the lock screen. Or if you just want to bypass everything, 
you just, uh, let me just turn off the screen over here. You just tap here, boom, goes right in. Fantastic. But those are just a few of the things I wanted to show you guys really quickly. Uh, many more videos are coming in to give you full details on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, S10, and of course the S10e. Maybe one more thing I'll show you guys really quickly is about the navigation bar here. Uh, that's something I've shown in my One UI videos, but if you go to the settings, and if I go into display, and if I go into the navigation bar over here, uh, it should be somewhere here, navigation bar, you can actually in disable the buttons and just create the full screen gestures. There's three bars at the bottom. You can go up, you can bring the recents, all right? Or if you're in a menu, you can go back like that, uh, just like that. Now I prefer the navigation buttons. So let's go back out. And that's it for this video, guys. Again, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video.